So here's the tank uh, completely filled with water after a 10% water change. You can see my um, inlet to the sump up here. I have lost a few uh, fry down that, uh, that grate, but it's really to keep the, main, uh, the bigger fish out. Um, down here, uh, you can see I have the top back on and I have my refugium light, the LED that stays on all the time, full spectrum. And um, back here, you know, you see where my sump's coming in. I, I have a sponge back there. I did some other kind of stuff to keep that from splashing up because it was splashing up over the side and creating water in here. Thankfully, this is actually watertight, so I never get any leaks. And if it doesn't come over this, uh, this lip right here, um, you know, I'm kind of protected from overflows. It's going to be a mess to clean up in here, but it won't be a mess to clean up in the house. Something else that I didn't show before was my power strip right here. So this is uh, glued uh, to the side, elevated out of the way. Um, everything's powered off of this. And then down here is kind of cool. I have my LED lights that go into the tank. And then attached to that is a smart socket, a smart switch. So um, my lighting cycles are all really controlled by Alexa or you know smart home devices. Um, and then over here I just have my, my bubbler and some other kind of random stuff. Again, it's all off the floor from the down inside. Um, so that if that fills up with water, I don't have a disaster. Um, so that's about it.